Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've taken a different composer who's had a role to play at these two organizations. Today it's the brilliant, wonderful American composer, Nico Muley, M-U-H-L-Y. Born in 1981, born actually in Vermont, uh, has composed in so many different styles and is in great demand as a composer. He has composed symphonies, he has had two operas premiered at the Metropolitan Opera in New York, many choral pieces, studied at Columbia, studied at Juilliard with people like Philip Glass, Aaron Copeland was another, and he admired also, on the other hand, the music of the English composer Herbert Howells. It's classical, but with a crossover. So he's worked with people like David Bowie and Bjork. He's worked with Icelandic musicians. Uh, a fascinating man. It was in 2018 that Vocal Lessons commissioned him for a Christmas piece called The Fair Star. It's an ancient text, but beautiful words that he set in three movements. Now, learning the music of Nico Muley is not like learning, shall we say, um, Climb Every Mountain or uh, Do Re Mi. It's much more complicated. But I can tell you, when the ensemble singers had learned the fair star and performed it. They loved it. They were so thrilled with it. It's music that <clears throat> I will try to play for you, but it's difficult because it's very layered. M multiple things are happening at the same time. But the second movement of the fair star uses this medieval melody, Lule, Lule, my dear mother, Lule. Uh, and so you have this And he loves to have notes like, instead of just this note, how about... So you hear that kind of sense of awe and mystery about it. So when you have the beginning, the chord underneath it is... And then... Since it's a lullaby, you hear this little background with a small orchestra that accompanied it. And that re keeps repeating with new chords. And then they sing. comes that opening theme again, but with a new chord. It's fascinating music. Nico Muley, he's of course composed here in the Twin Cities also for the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra and uh, a composer with this great variety of music. He wrote a piece for King's College, Cambridge, a very short piece that he composed just uh, two years ago uh, for 
Easter, and it's that text about when Joseph had taken the body of Jesus from, uh, from the cross to put in the tomb. And what he will often do when I mention this kind of sense of mystery is that you might have a melody but around that might be a note very close to it that should be sung softer that gives it just a wonderful kind of tension so that if you had this and then you went and then against this comes and that keeps holding It's, it's, it reminds me in a way of like listening to music of Benjamin Britten, where sometimes these chords, you wonder where they're going to go, and sometimes they don't resolve. At the very end of this little piece, a great stone, you don't have resolution. You have a feeling of it just going off into the ether because you have this chord going here with this note. And then you have this. And it fades away. And that's it. So it doesn't come to maybe the ending you thought it was going to. But it's beautiful and wonderful and mysterious. Now, of course, in addition to this music, he also has written some music that's not quite so uh, challenging. He wrote a hymn. And I love the idea that Nico Muley has written this hymn back in 2016. Um, and so you have a simple hymn melody. But what does he put with it? It's only when it gets to the end that it finally resolves. Music of Nico Muley. Have a wonderful day.